Hello, Voyagers, and welcome to the beautiful Grand Cayman, a popular destination in the heart of the Caribbean, full of natural beauty, and home to a vast array of wildlife. This is our first port of call on this five-night cruise aboard the magnificent Disney Dream. We're going to tender off to the island and find out just what Cayman has to offer. At 8.30 a.m., it's time to leave the ship. We head down to Deck 3, where we are directed to the Walt Disney Theater to queue in groups, and then sent on our way to the gangways on Deck 1 to board our tender. That would take us on to Cayman. This was our first port that required tender service, and the view you get of the ship from the tender boat on the way to the pier is absolutely awesome. Rum cake, guys. Can you believe it? <laughs> Our port excursion was canceled and we did not book another, so we kind of set out with no real plan. As we walked along the sidewalks of the port areas, you'll find the usual shops for jewelry, t shirts, and souvenirs, along with bars and restaurants. We had read about Smith's Cove, a popular beach and snorkeling spot home to a protected reef said to be teeming with wildlife, down on the southwest side of Cayman, only a 20 minute walk from the port shopping district. However, after attempting to walk down South Church Street, I would not recommend this. <laughs> we realized pretty quickly that if you wanted to get to any of the popular beaches on Cayman, you'd have to hire a ride. The general vibe and atmosphere around the port area was a friendly, inviting, but busy and hectic beachfront area. Like we mentioned, the main road, Church Street slash Seafarer's Way, was a constant flow of cars, taxis, and buses. The public minibuses aren't hard to find, and with certain apps, you can get a ride right from your mobile device. We easily could have utilized these services to get just about anywhere we wanted if we hadn't decided to explore on foot. We eventually did find a small beach just north of the port, away from the shopping, with a few swimmers enjoying the water, and decided this spot would have to do for today. at the end of January. The water was crisp and cool and the outside temp was around 80 degrees and honestly not a bad time to come here. Ryan, what's the water feel like? Good? Video might be a little shaky from the... We noticed a school of tarpon swimming near the coral. These fish are known to be harmless and even a little weary of people in general, and they are common in Florida, the Bahamas, and the Caribbean. They can grow up to eight feet and weigh about 280 pounds. These were about four to five feet long and were impressive in person as they kind of just hung out near the rocks. Please be cautious of any wildlife though, especially if you're not sure what it is. And even if you are sure, I mean, things have teeth. After taking it all in, it was time to head back to the dream for a much needed shower. Grand Cayman was beautiful. We will definitely be more prepared next time. Make sure you bring cash or download cab or bus apps or have a plan on what you'd like to do, even if you have an excursion booked, because it just might get canceled. 
The port doesn't have much to offer in terms of a unique experience, but you can still have fun if you find some good food and enjoy shopping, but I definitely recommend you find a way to venture out onto this beautiful island. On this five night cruise or main port of Grand Cayman was also the pirate night. Oh, it's 49. 49. On Pirate Night, they roll out a special Pirates of the Caribbean menu for the rotational dining. We had the beautiful Enchanted Garden restaurant, and the highlights were the Johnny Cake, the chilled mango soup, which doesn't look like much, but is absolutely to die for, and the jerk chicken. This is my favorite food I had on the ship as far as food that's included with your cruise goes. Now, on to the pirate party. They have two times for the family-friendly show, so everyone has an opportunity to catch them, and then they have a more action-packed stunt show that we missed that was later on in the evening. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. Have you ever been to Grand Cayman? Let us know in the comments below. Until our next voyage, bye bye